How do you think you would have handled Gorgeous George as a booker, knowing that you can get people because of the time and place into the door to see him at least once? What do you do about keeping them? Uh, you know, gosh, back at that, in that period of time, it was completely different, uh, you know, different perception in the part of people as to wrestling and whatever, and whether booking was good or bad. You never, I wouldn't think they wanted to sacrifice. Gorgeous George was a heel in terms of his gimmick and in terms of what he did. But you wouldn't want to sacrifice your top baby face in your big city to him or whatever. I would think at that point, I would have bo always booked Gorgeous George against an upper level baby face that wasn't figured into my title plans or any world title plans, or I didn't want to fucking carry my territory on his back because I would think that especially the first time around in the television glory era, he had to, George had to go over. So you wouldn't want to beat your fucking top star in your town with this guy who was a good wrestler, but the gimmick overshadowed it. So I would have, I would think, but then again, especially in the early days of television, things weren't programmed as tightly as they were in the territory days with this guy being involved with a program with this guy and a rivalry with this guy. And it was just more the names being matched up like still boxing. So you could afford to say, Gorgeous George will be here and he'll take on, he won't be against Bruno, he'll be against Chief J Strongbow. Does that make any sense? He can beat Strongbow, we don't give a shit. It makes sense. It's an interesting thing to think about what life would be like if you can go back to like the early days of television and apply angles to so many things, because it wasn't like there were angles right away on TV, at least, I mean, other than the matches themselves and the results being yeah. angles leading to things. Well, that's a, a, an angle by definition. Originally in the early days of television, the angle was, my God, he pulled his tights when he pinned him. And that would get people up on the... Uh, apron of the ring and throwing shit and beating on the mat because that was that was cheating and they're just seeing it so unless you've been going to live wrestling matches they were just seeing it on television it's, holy shit he cheated if they just started doing modern wrestling angles which is has been proven by what we've done to the business if they just started out doing modern wrestling angles and nobody <laughs> selling anything and everybody just whacking each other with blunt instruments we'd have been out of business in 74 with roller derby because they would have seen everything and we'd have burned all through it. Just like the last 20 years, they've seen everything. We burned all through it. 